Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be talking about how to get a five on AP Calculus BC by self-studying. So AP Calculus BC was definitely one of the harder AP examinations I have ever taken in my life. Yeah, because it really comes down to understanding and applying. And how do you succeed in that? You practice. Practice, practice, practice. I could not emphasize more. I remember at least a month leading up to the exam, I would practice at least an hour to two hours a day just on derivatives, just on integrals, and just on concepts that I'm not too sure about, that I don't really know how to apply. It will definitely help you in the exam. On top of the practice books I used, I also found the College Board past FRQs to be so helpful because those are actual problems from past few years and it would definitely more or less correlate to what you would get on test day and so I would time myself when I was doing these FRQs so that I knew the time pressure that came with the exam on test day so that I knew how to manage my time. And on top of that, they would also give you model answers and what your answer should look like if it was the most ideal answer they were looking for. And so that definitely helped because they have a pretty strict requirement of what they want in your answer. You really have to clearly write out your thought processes, how you came to reach the solution. So definitely using your College Board past FRQ questions. Next, organize your review schedule. Organize your review schedule. AP Calculus BC is a lot about understanding and applying. And understanding and applying doesn't come just like that. It's not like memorization where maybe you can cram in a lot of different vocabulary in five days, but understanding and applying takes a lot of time. So you should definitely organize your months leading up to the exam to have like um, certain concepts down, certain um, like integral like solutions down at a particular month. You just have to organize your review schedule because it will be hectic when it is like two weeks up to the exam and you don't want to be freaking out because you don't know all the information. So definitely organize a review schedule. Next, although it is mostly about understanding and applying, there are some memorization that comes with Calculus BC and that is with formulas. It's inevitable, you have to memorize your formulas. And what comes with memorizing formulas is that it's actually one of the easier and better parts of Calculus BC because on your FRQs, if you write out the formula that you think the question is asking about, you get one point. So if you have no idea what the question is about, you have no idea how to solve this problem, write down the formula you think most correlates to the question. So if you get it right, you get a point. And one point is a lot better than zero points. So definitely memorize your formulas. Because if you don't memorize your formulas, there are going to be a lot of multiple choice questions where you cannot answer. So some resources I found helpful was definitely Organic Chemistry Tutor. He was a lifesaver for me. Lifesaver. Because he really explains everything in a really logical manner wouldn't like jump from place to place and it's easy to follow so i would definitely recommend him for self-studying because he is just a lifesaver okay on top of that there is fiveable so fiveable was a really great platform where um, they have study sessions leading up to the exam and the study sessions were really great because you would be online with a lot of other students who are also striving for the five for calculus BC and you wouldn't feel alone because sometimes everybody is freaking out but you're just alone and you don't know that other people are freaking out too. So having that study session and having a supportive community where everybody is helping each other answer questions, ask questions, um, review is a great community to be with um, leading up to the exam. And last point, 
if you are freaking out about calculus vc just know that last year i was doing the same thing and everybody is going through this so do not panic just memorize your formulas and practice and you will do fine because having done what i did last year i i am fine now so you're gonna be fine so there is a little giveaway i have past notes practice problem sets that i am super happy to be giving away to some of you guys so follow the giveaway description down below in the descriptions and if you have any comments questions concerns please don't hesitate to comment down below and i will do my best to answer your question or find a resource to help you and other than that hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time!